What's up guys, I'm Ravi KK and welcome to another Java Sphinx tutorial. And in this video we are gonna see what are J panels and we'll be discussing another layout manager that is border layout manager. Now what are what are J panels? Okay, technical speaking, um J panels are uh, the container that holds another Sphinx component. Okay, now why do we use J panels in a frame? Uh, now consider a frame uh, which has uh, 20 to 30 Sphinx components. In a previous uh, example, that is login screen, we just we just used six components. Uh, that is two labels, two text fields, and two buttons. So it was uh, pretty easy to add those components to the J frame by making use of just single layout manager. That is maybe a flow layout manager. Now, if you have a J frame that has 20 to 30 components, uh, it it can be very tedious or it can be messy to use just a single layout manager so another a, a good solution would be to divide that frame into a number of sections or number of regions and applying a different layout manager to each each of the region now we'll not call that as a region we'll call that as a panel now i've created a i mean i've drawn a simple diagram which will make your concept clear now look at this this is a simple frame and i have divided this frame into two sections that is section one section two will not call it as a section this is panel uh, i mean j panel one j panel two so if you have a kind of uh, 10 things components in this first panel then uh, according to our convenience we can use uh, some kind of uh, for example let's say we are using grid layout manager in this first panel and in the second panel we have kind of uh, five or more uh, maybe eight components and we are using flow layout manager according to the convenience i mean uh, according to the attractive look of the frame okay so we have used two layout managers in these two j panels and we can use another that is third layout manager to the whole frame so in this way your frame can look um, pretty good okay uh, pretty attractive you can say um, now what we'll do is we'll just divide the uh, a login screen into two sections that is two panels we'll place the first four components in the first panel and the last two components that is j buttons in the second panel so let's begin uh, with our program first of all we'll have to import our j panel class java x dot sphinx dot j panel okay and in the same way we'll have to we have done with the previous components we'll have to instantiate our j panel class that is p1 comma p2 and call the appropriate constructor that is p1 equals to new j panel okay and p2 equals new j panel i hope you remember our previous program uh, so if you if you are uh, not aware of the login screen that we have created uh, till now then please watch my previous five videos Okay, so let's begin off with adding the components to our uh, appropriate J panel and then add that J panel to our J frame Okay, so we, what we'll do is we'll add first four components to a panel number one and last two components that is uh, the login button and exit button in the second panel and After that we'll add those panels to a J frame. So let's begin uh, p1 dot add uh, so you'll have to specify the panel in which you want to add then dot add and uh, this specifies the component that you want to add so we'll add login label to our first panel then we'll add p1 dot add um, login text okay the text field of the username Okay, so first of all, we'll uh, set a layout manager to our uh, first panel that is grid layout manager layout 2 by 2 since we are adding four components to our first panel. Then we'll add uh, p1 dot add okay password label then p1 dot add password text oops text. Okay, so we finished off with our first panel. Now we'll work with our second panel, and the layout manager that we'll set to our second layout, oh, second panel is uh, say flow layout. Okay, 
then adding buttons to our uh, panel second panel dot add um what is the button login button okay then p2 dot add exit button okay I guess there is an error over here. I'll have to delete a single T. So we'll so we have added. Uh, I mean, we have added components to our two panels. Now we'll add these two panels to the J frame. Okay. So set layout to the complete J frame. Set layout new flow layout. Okay. Now adding these two panels to a J frame. Add P1. Add. P2. So let's run this program, and uh, I guess the screen will not look attractive. Okay, since I've done this program in a hurry. Okay, so this is a small uh, login screen I've created. Okay, so look at this. The four components I have placed in one panel, and these two components I have placed in the second panel. And after that, I've placed both these panels in our J frame. So according to your convenience, uh, use the number of panels that you know use in a J frame, and add the components to the J panel and J panel to the J frame. Okay, now we'll look at how to create panels by making use of palette. So in the same way, just right click on the package. I mean, uh, the project, new frame form. I give name panel example okay so in the uh, top right corner of your um, uh, I mean ID you'll see a swings con uh, container and in that you'll see a J I mean panel just drag and drop to your frame and you can resize it to any size you want and place it uh, or place it in any location you want so we'll place it in the top location we'll take another panel and just uh, place it in our frame and accordingly you can add any any number of components to your panel and you can also set the layout manager to your panel just right click on your panel and uh, see there is a set layout option over here and you can set any kind of layout that is flow layout grid layout or a block box layout and since we have discussed we are going to discuss only four layout managers in our uh, uh, this uh, tutorial series so that's it for this video guys i have uh, i mean i'll discuss what about layers in a, a in our next tutorial okay so if you have any kind of doubt please comment and uh, give thumbs up if you like the video so thanks for watching bye bye